basically. From your sternum to your head is the upper gate. From your sternum to the middle of your pelvis bone is the middle gate. The lower gate, you got upper left, upper right, mid left, mid right. So if you're in a side neutral stance, this busal will cover your upper gate. This poxal will cover your middle gate. And you raise your leg up to cover the incoming gate. When you raise your leg up, you don't want to have the shin bone pointing towards your opponent, you know, at the side. They kick you in the fleshy part. So, one thing about our entry, a lot of people think we do this all the time. That's not correct because if you just throw yourself at someone, they can grab your leg. Plus, people have seen this so many times, it's not going to work. So, what this is, is an interruption. I just want to step here if I'm going to hit someone. But I want to raise my leg in in case they move to the side. Do I roll you for a second? Uh, without my hands, if I step forward, you move to my side, you're on my blind side. So I need to have interruptibility. So I need to have that human girl. So if I step in and you move to the side, see, I can move to the side if you're on this blind side. So when I do that entry, I do this, I circle to the side. Now if he's this close, I don't need to go in. Notice I didn't raise my leg, I just did that. I understand that if he moves, I have the ability to interrupt because I didn't do this. I'm, if I use the human girl, see, I'm able to place my foot wherever I want. If I just step forward and do this, gravity dictates where I land. No one's gonna stand there for you. So, I come here, attack him. When I come to attack him, move back. Then you do the entry, okay? I'm not gonna just stand here and just go flying off in some way. Hey, <laughs> like people think. So, let's practice this right now. From a side neutral, circle around. Just use your guard like this. See, here, circle around. So from here, circle around. Here, and just come back to your guard. Now, another thing, the muy facho, five poles. One pole here, one here, one here, one here, one in the middle. Like the five pips on a abdominals. So when I raise my leg up, I bring it here and circle to that one. If I do this, so when kicks me, it knocks me off balance. So I have an imaginary, like this spot here. I bring my knee here, circle to get to the blind side of the neck. So let's everybody try a few of these. So as soon as you do that, you take the fight to them. Turn to move their body. Some people will do this and hit. There's never a strike. You got delicate bones back there. I just, um, this is just to turn his body. I strike, this turns the body, it's both the kidney. Okay? So try that with your partner. Pull it by, let it go by. 
because in Wing Chun you're not arguing straight, right? So the punch comes, step back. No, hypothetically. If the punch is low, then I can do this. So when you're doing the dummy, you have to understand, do I want to pull this punch into my face, help me and hit me, or do I want to get out of the way? That's the on okay? Check. 
break. Well, this application is important because the front gate, I block, right? So in this instance, I do the down up, right? Repelling. Ideally, I want to try to stick to your arm, right? I want to stay beside where one of your arms are. But in this instance, we block out. So you can do that. Bounce off, repel, see? So you, you kick here, do that. So he asked about the other thing. You kick again with the other leg, maybe? See, it's not going to happen. So the form is just showing you to repeat. Okay? Once I get on that side, I'm not going to try to go back to that side. Section 9. Five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and close. Cool. sits up, the claws point down to the ground. So let me show you something. Um, if I do my folk with the hand, with the bottom of my hand straight, he's got a straight line to hit me. So now for me to stop him, I have to push. If I push, he circles around. But if I do this, he strikes at me. My forearm redirects him. So I have a tunnel going away from me in this position, see? Whereas this position, the line goes right to me. Folk in Cantonese means to control. So I actually want to control, just like when dogs fight, they do this to the other dog's head. Okay. So I got Hong Sao and Tan. And I'm pushing forward. Hong Sao and Tan. And with our Hong Sao, we want this to be straight as opposed to like this. So if you were to throw a round kick to me, and I did this, I could misjudge and get my fingers messed up. So I could use a quant. Okay. Okay. But if I did this, plus if you do the fingers like that. Okay. Maybe something to get. Get this. Okay. So Wong Sao is in worse of time. I did the same, flat. Okay. okay. So rotate. Pushing forward, and remember, we're not doing circles. If I go this way, I can just carry my energy on. So I'm always trying to issue my energy towards my opponent when that driving the bus. Okay? So let's just work on one technique, but not a simple one. Um, from here, I may want to do a chin sound, lock, and straight. But if he's thinking, once I step to my left, He's going to step this one, right? And check me. So what I want to do is, so I, I do a redirect. I strike, he jumps, I chum, ah. So if I'm rolling, rolling, I go. And here, I fake. Because you got a choice, either get hit in the eye or move my hand. That's one of the applications for that. Okay? So I'll show you the counter. So he does it to me. Gam sao, the tan turns into a strike, and lock. So as soon as he steps to my right, I check him. I got that. And a tan and a gum. Gam sao, pinning hand. 
So as soon as he steps, strike. It's time, it's time, boom. So it's ba-boom, then lock. If I feel the folk doing, lay there, I'm gonna pop. Do a good, do a good folk up. Nothing should happen, see? I can't get through because he's occupied the line. Basic laws of physics, right? So if I got this, my hand here, pocket, pocket, see? It's just, it's just there doing nothing, pop, right? But if I got control, pop. See? I need to do something like that. So fuck means control or subdue. So you actually have to occupy that line. But say his folk sounds sloppy. So right about here, I pop. I use this lan sao to pin it. So as we're rotating, I see he's got a floppy folk sao. So right about here, I go pop. Right? And then the pop line and strike. So in slow motion, as soon as my folk's about right here, I'm right near his elbow. So I want to catch it right here. So I would pock now. Now, right? Now. I don't want to leave that hand free for him to do something with me. So step to the side, pin him, strike, punch. Thank you. 